Uh, before he passed away, I, he stopped speaking. I wanted him to watch some, I put Wizard of Oz. It was very colorful mm. and I thought he would like it. And thinking back to that, I'm like, he was, he was the wizard all along. I don't think the, he realized the damage that he did while he was doing it. I think he was a narcissist for sure. And I, I, I don't think he understood that term. He just knew who he was. I get emotional when I read the last page of my book. And the last page talks about the little girls that would write to him saying, I just got a Playboy bedspread. I'm 11 years old. I want to come and live there. And what does that take? And it's really upsetting to me because it was a lot of girls' dream. And this is the book I wish I had when I was 21 years old. And I've had a lot of women, an outpouring of women writing to me saying thank you. I stayed quiet for five years. I was in therapy for five years, validated a lot of my experiences. And, you know, we have terms that we didn't have them, you know, about misogyny, narcissism, and boundaries. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what boundaries were until just a few years ago. And so I didn't have the tools then that I have now. And whether he was still alive or not, this book would still be out. And that my book is resonating with so many women and so much so that it's become an instant bestseller in New York Times. So I'm very proud of it. And this is my truth. And I have nothing to hide. And yeah, I'm, I'm very proud.